Good morning, Zodiac, and welcome to Soul Family Read. This is for the 11th of October, guys. Um, I'm doing this reading on the 10th, which is the conjunction of Mars and Mercury and Sun um, and Libra. And um, I'm thinking back here to hope somebody saw that and got something out of it. Um, I think this is such a significant time. Uh, from the 6th, the new moon, okay, uh, we had a trine of Mercury to Jupiter. I'm a Jupiter guy. It's a healing theme. Jupiter stationing direct on my psych asteroid, which is on my Charon asteroid. Spent my whole life <laughs> uh, in therapy early for decades and support groups and psychology major. <laughs> And then relationships. It all comes down to relationships to me. Astrology is all about relationships. All it is. If you get relationships and you get that people and all that, you'll get astrology. It's just a, that's all it is. You just got to understand who Mars is. I, I, maybe I, I really should. I really want to teach astrology. I'll be like, okay, hello, let's meet Mars. Mars, come on in. And maybe I have to like dress up this and kind of become Mars and say, I'm Mars. Here's what I'm about. Meet Venus and say hi, I'm Venus. But I have to go and drag for that one. It's terribly feminine energy, so that would be kind of ridiculous. <sighs> Maybe I have to hire some actresses to step in. But you know, to really just show people you're just meeting the planets and that they're, they're all got their personality, and they're all interacting, and that's what your chart is: is how well does your family or planets get along with each other or not. <laughs> Uh, so I just want to do a general read, kind of thinking too, the full moon, 27 degree Aries. This is a huge cycle from uh, yeah, the 6th until the 20th. We're in the middle of this now. Uh, it's the 11th read this week. This week, I think it's a fire week. I think it's good. I'm doing a lot of healing, thank God. Uh, but I was thinking, talking to a friend, having surgery. And it's really great because it's something you know, only in America we have to pray and you know, that you could possibly even get the surgery you need to save your life or something. You know, some combination of winning the lottery and getting insurance or something. Uh, but so it's a great thing. But what does it involve? It's a lot of fear. It's a lot of pain. And it's generally a lot of pain. And, and, and even like some risk, you know, I was thinking about it. Um, so, you know, especially when we're healing a Charon uh, wound. It's, uh, I doubt it's going to be like a genie going poof, you no longer have that pain. Well, this is said to be the pain that we carry for gener for uh, lifetimes. It's the soul pain, you know, so it's not kind of thing I think we can even make go away. At best, it's just going to be to um, bring it into some kind of uh, um, heal and um, coordination with our own energy so that, you know, it doesn't hurt us as much. Um, and then usually we can heal other people. And so we're just doing this four card pull with the theme of healing. It's at this time. You've got to think about where it is in your chart. I mean, for me, it's my second house uh, in my uh, sixth house energy. And I know exactly where that is, what that is. I was just talking about this morning before I got out here um, with my girlfriend. It's like, you know, thank you for being patient because in what it is for me, I, I now know the energies and I could feel them and I could see them in the chart when I get that confirmation. And this for me is a time of healing. And so this 6th to the 20th is like a fiery punch of healing. It's not negative. I mean, there's, a, there's negative aspects. You could, the astrology goes on and on in here and it all depends on how it's hitting your uh, natal. It's hitting me great. I have my progressed moon in, in Libra. And I might progress sun at 28 degrees, Aquarius. So, um, this is um, the big thing with the full moon. It's exactly trying the galactic center, which is also conjunct my sun. Google that if you don't know. That's a whole thing. Major positive, let's say, major positive punch of positive. I hope it affects the world somehow. I mean, some great blessing, you know, uh, it just hits the transit to transit collective energy. But I read for the personal energy, so let's do that now. 
here we are on the page of swords um, where our mind and heart is at here around healing um, this page is moving uh, uh, into the reading but kind of looking back over her shoulder uh, there um, wow I think like this is to me is like how I feel I, it's being very kind of open and kind of, I know the we would associate humble more with the pinnacles, but there's a humbleness to the page anyway. You know, the page is a child, is a young person, not yet an adult, and it's in the instruction of sometimes great power. I'll just leave it there, and I go into the whole dark side of that. But it's an it's an innocent energy, I believe. Here, uh, it's an openness, and it's uh, now Mars is in Libra where what should happen the ego that is mars the self-interest that is mars mellows and it takes more into account and here you see the person kind of moving forwards and backwards at the same time it's kind of like still being stuck in that back maybe understanding that we were that's maybe what the caron wound is they say it's a soul wound we born with it we die with it right so maybe you know you have to look back because it's always going to be there I know exactly, and this is, you know, my my son is sextile, uh, my Charon asteroid, right? My moon is trying. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I think this is being really open uh, to learning, reading, taking classes, taking direction, uh, communicating, getting involved, uh, really, in communicating. And again, I know it's not Virgo, but it's also some details. Um, with the Page of Swords, just the energy of where we're at right now, uh, spiritually, in terms of manifestation. Um, and it's a really good energy to be in. It's kind of strong. And Swords, it's an intellect. It's open. It brings in a little bit of the third house uh, energy. So it's a third house, a lot of energy, a lot of communication, Gemini energy. Uh, the neighborhood, your close environment, where you want to, I think this is feeling comfortable. This could literally be, hey, let's go out to the outdoor cafe while it's still warm enough to do it. And, you know, let's have a cup of uh, coffee or some uh, drinks or something or dinner, you know, at a wonderful, like, outdoor restaurant. And, you know, talk about uh, things, you know, connect with people, too. Um Cause this is fire energy we gotta do something with it <laughs> this is it's about actions now it's like yeah so what's crossing us we're not giving our energy we're holding back you don't have to read that as a uh, reverse it's just very simply this is what's crossing us in in this is not wanting to give our energy to it or just feeling this is me feeling like i really don't have enough energy to give to it that i'd like to i just can't bring enough energy to what I need to do and that's the direct read for me that's what that screams to me um, as a blocking it's completely how I feel that's why I'm having to have a sip of coffee but uh, but you know I've come a long way and um, it doesn't seem so bad you know I should have died <laughs> you know uh, uh, when was it now uh, 2008 um, so 13 years ago, they said, you'll be, you only live a year, <laughs> but they said the wrong diagnosis and I knew it though. <laughs> uh, but still it's just not having, this could be not having the resources, ding, ding, ding. You know, this is not having the resources, the money, the energy, you know, to take care of this, uh, what we want to do here, uh, which is around this healing, really positive energy. And let's see what the advice is from Spirit, Ten of Wands. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a, uh, this reading is not uh, very subtle, you know. That's pretty obvious, Ten of Wands, advice from Spirit. It's like, just let it go. <sighs> just let it go. <sighs> I find just deep breathing so helpful sometimes, <laughs> a lot of times. Um, that's really letting it go. Ten of Wands. And I like it because it's advice from Spirit. And I don't, Spirit wouldn't give us this advice if it knew we weren't ready. And guess what? What are Wands? Actions. 
And so, you know, what are we talking about to take an action here? Um, and the action that we take after we consider it through research, through uh, communication with other people, um, loved ones, this is a relationship. This, is, this page becomes, hey, honey, sit down. I really want to talk to you. I love you and I need you. I need to tell you these things. And, and really engaging with your person in, in like communication, dialogue. Um, and all of this, I think, is to get our energy up, you know. And energy is just shifting right now. I felt it a month ago start to come, and I can tell you by next month, it's going to be a lot different. And I can see, I think we're right in the line to just be steady, kind of firing up, firing up. And um, you're basically this too, like a promise. The universe is saying, like, you're going to this load. This is a load. I feel it. It's like I, I used to be so athletic, and I guess I'm, I'm supposed to be lucky I'm alive. That's what I'm trying to get over because <clears throat> I've had that attitude too long. And it's like resting on your laurels. It's like, okay, no matter, your life kind of sucks right now and you're in a lot of pain every day. But, you know, you're lucky to be alive, Dave. And, you know, chin up. And I'm kind of Sagittarius. I could roll with that. And it took like 12 years of that for me to go, wait, wait, wait. I can't, you know, it's not good enough just to be alive. You know, I want to thrive. I want to have a life. And that's the struggle I've been in, just physically. Um, now I have a lot of help. Thank God. Thank you, literally, God. Now, let's see the outcome here. The magician. Holy shit, guys. The <sighs> Chills much? Um, um, that's the manifestor card right there. Yeah, that was in the reading Friday, too, okay? Uh, the magician. Okay, Mercury. And then we got Mercury conjunct. Again, that was from the reading. Uh, Mercury has a nice trine. What? To Jupiter. Our thoughts. This, this is in line with Jupiter, and it's going direct. So it's in a very powerful place right now, stationing this power of Jupiter just right here, just er, 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 this is fire. This is the 6th to the 20th, powerful, positive fire. This is the time to let it go so that you can fill that basket up with all the amazing shit that the magician comes up with, which is could, who knows? That could be anything. And the overall energy, you're going to love this shit. Judgment. I don't know if I really need to say anything about that. Judgment. That's being called up. Called up to the higher purpose in this reading. Soul tribe. 11th of October. Manifestation. Spirituality. That's where we're at, guys. I, I love it. I claim it. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you.